Hello everyone and welcome back to some more of the Dream Down. I've been stuck forever. I really have. And then I finally went back, looked through the footage to recap on everything that Morton said. I believe that's his name. That's the old guy in the lighthouse. Um, and I'm stupid. And uh, he said specifically look up the police reports, which I didn't do. I didn't know what, that's the part I missed. And apparently that's the thing I need. So there we go. God dang it. Um, Southern Marie is suspecting dock workers, labor union controlled by mob, missed front crime commission formed. Um, this is the person, Leroy McGigbo. Is, that's the person we need to search. Um, tracking mayor criminal elements to outer cross territory and linking them to piracy at Pango, Cuba. Hey, what's this? Evidence of high-level corruption in connection with illegal underland expedition. I bet this report is the key to finding out more about Balo and Kaunanduro's expedition. Wow, the plot thickens, huh? Looks like you're onto something. Yeah, I think this file might just help me find out what happened to my father. But Juana, the file is classified. That means it has been removed from the town hall archives. There's no way I can get it for you. Oh. Hmm. It says it was written by the old chief of police, Leroy Makibo. That is probably your best lead. If you find him, I bet you will find the file. Wow. You're real smart, Andy. I have my moments. I gotta find this Makigbo guy. Perfect. Okay. I kept typing in Barlow and the people in the expedition rather than just doing these stupid freaking police report. Which I feel like is too simple. It should have been oh, whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? Now we need to look up this guy's weird name, which. Oh, thank God. I was. Where is his name? Where is his name? Isn't it I? Am I not seeing it? Hello? Wait. Hey, Andiswa. Hey, Buana. What do you know about Leroy? Oh, it's Mickigbo. Leroy used to be the city. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know we haven't seen that before, but I, I don't know why I thought it was an I. I'm so happy I came back to this, but crap, does that mean it's ripped out of the book? No. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it was Mrs. Did the guy die? Oh, he probably got killed. 510842. My name is Buana. I'm trying to reach uh, Leroy McKigbo. Is this the right number? Yes. Sweet. I'm calling about a police report he wrote a long time ago. It's about the Underland. A police report? Yeah, lady. Uh, can I talk to him, please? Talk to him? If you want to talk to him, you should rather call a psychic. My dear Leroy disappeared over ten years ago. So did my father, Kaun Andoro. I believe there's some sort of connection between your husband and my father. Do you know if anyone wanted to see Leroy disappear? Leroy used to be the police chief here in Port Archu, and he had many enemies. He was a diligent and honest man, always working late down at the station to keep the gangsters at bay. But then one night, he didn't return home from work. Did Leroy ever talk about an expedition to the Underland? have left 
kept a copy of the report at home? Oh, I don't know, dear. I never looked through his work things. The police and the power company cleared out his study soon after Leroy disappeared. Power company? Yes, there was some gentleman here from the Armando Power Company to help with the investigation. Whatever they found, they must have taken with them to their office on Charnel Road. Hold on a minute. The power company has an office here in Port Archu? Oh, I don't know, dear. The office is probably closed now that most businesses moved up to St. Armando. This all happened a long time ago. I doubt I can be of much help to you now. Oh, no, you've been very helpful, Miss McKeekbo. Thank you so much. office right here in Port Archu. I bet that's where they hit the missing police report. I got to get to Chanel Road. Booyah. We finally have a lead. Th these games will make you do that though. You really have to pay attention sometimes and I was not. I zoned out because there's a lot of talking and sadly that was one of the important parts. What's up Reynolds? I'm geared up and ready to go. Rides on me. Yes. Hey man, can you take me to Chanel Road? No problem, Jack. We'll be there in a tick. Hide your mamas. Ride Reynolds is back in the game. That's all for Ride. Ride Reynolds. Next stop, Chanel Road. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, come on. Please say he just hits the car. Oh, so close. Where am I? Where'd I go? Okay. So, this is Chanel Road. Man, this place looks deserted. Well, here we are. We are being followed. But I'm not worried. We're finally making some moves. There's a control panel here that needs a key. It's a rusty old police car. The pickup truck is holding it in place. Okay. Do I still have all my stuff? Looks like we need a key. Okay, we need a key. We need a key. I doubt that's gonna help me. Need a key, need a key. Um gate. There's a fat padlock chain to the gate. Yes, they don't like visitors. Good thing we have a bolt cutter. I hate to break it to you, Mr. Padlock, but we're going to have to amputate. Boom! Nice. Let's go to this door. I'm sure, 100% sure it's this locked. This has got to be the entrance to the Armando Power Company office. Oh man, it's locked. Yep. Yeah, okay. We can break it down. Okay, we can, we're not going to get in through that way. That is why we can break open this gate. Let's continue on. It's really dark in here, man. I can't see a thing. Okay, one second. I need. It. This has been. I know it's been like back and forth. I put the look at that. Music volume all the way down. Sound volume should be. I'll just do a five. I really want the voices to be here. I don't know if it's just my speakers, but I. I yeah. Control panel. The buttons aren't working. I think it's turned off. Okay, power box. Looks like some kind of power box. Oh god. Nothing happened. Nope. 
Oh. Nothing happened. What? No. Yes. 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 No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. Darn it. No. No. Ow. What do I do? Darn it. Darn it. Oh, there we go. There we go. No. Oh my god, we're almost there. Do I do one more? No. No, what do I do? How is this at all a puzzle? Oh, come on. There must be an easier way to know what to do. I don't get it. It's so random. <laughs> yes. No. No. Seems like these bottom ones have the big leaps. Okay, that goes there. Nothing happened. God dang it, please. Oh. Nothing happened. No, please. Please, no. Yes. Yes. Holy crap. It's a steel mill. Oh, oh. This little box has keys in it. I'll grab him. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what I did, but I did something. Let's see what this button here does. Aha! I think this crane is for melting stuff. Interesting. Okay, let's try this hand wheel. Oh. oh man, there's not enough iron in the smelter to make a girder. I wanna make my own girder. Alright, he wants to make his own girder. Um, oh god, I can go upstairs too. I wanna go back with the keys though, real quick. Okay, let's see if this fits. Nice. What an excellent parking place. Can I not? I think... Okay, we're done with that. Okay, so now that it's in place, I need to make a girder. I need to drop it on the police car for some... Oh. If only I could get over to the window on the other side somehow. Oh. Frick. That's the wall where the steel girders are for. Oh wait, I have keys. Only oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. There we go. Try the door. Oh, the keys. This has got to Wait. But the keys. No. That big gaping hole leads into the steel mill. Fantastic. What's that? He's done with that. There's a door. Maybe I can get in if only I Do I use I take the crate, grab stuff from the outside, and put them in the smelter. Oh thank god he said that. There we go. That's a nice car though. Oh. Dear God. 
I always wanted to do that. Perfect. Now we get the hand wheel. Now do I do it again? It's not showing me what it did. Man, why do I always wind up having to walk over scary high things? All right, Buana, you can do it. Just close your eyes, and everything will be all right. Oh, here we go. Another cutscene. Oh, meanwhile. Okay, an actual cutscene. State your business or get out of my town. That's funny. You act as if I don't own you. You know why I'm here. Where's the book? It's in the safe. And the woman and those two buffoons I had you lock up. They got away. You let them get away? I'm going to find them, even if I have to tear your horrible town apart. Brick by brick. Deploy the troops. You can't do this! You insolent little maggot. Did you really think I'd let you take control of Port Archer? You were nothing but a puppet. Now stay out of my way. Or you'll end up like Maka Oh, crap. Freeze! Buona? What are you doing How here? How did she get you, in? You backstabbing woman! What were you doing with that policeman, Barlow? I wasn't backstabbing you, you nut. I was trying to talk my way back to the book, and I was this close to getting my hands on it when you blundered in there and blew my whole operation. I was going to come help you out of jail as soon as I'd secured the book. I still need you, and your airplane, Buana. Oh, but I thought... Well, it doesn't matter now anyways. The book is securely locked up in Club Temba, and we're going to have to try a different approach to get it back. I've been trying to dig up some dirt on this Barlow guy, and I'm pretty confident this is where we'll find it. You talking about that missing police report, right? Sounds like you've done your homework, Buana. I'm impressed. Yes, the missing file is bound to be hidden away here somewhere. Once we find that file, you'll be one step closer to finding out what happened to Count and Dodo. And I'll be one step closer to getting the book back and finding out the truth behind this whole cover-up. What were you doing with Barlow anyways? I told you, I was trying to talk him into giving me the book back. The Underland seems to be a touchy subject for him. He's clearly covering something up big time what's in the missing file i don't really know all i know is that since the power company is covering it up it's bound to contain something that they don't want us to know about i'm hoping it's going to contain some kind of dirt on barlow so we can squeeze him into giving the book back you know anything about this makigbo guy well he used to be chief of police here in port artu he wrote the missing report we're looking for. Why he suddenly disappeared or where he went, I have no idea. Okay, let's find that police report. All right, you start looking through the shelves, and I'll try the computer. Wonderful. What a great way to end this episode. We're finally making headway. I got stuck, but it happens. And, um... Very much looking forward to continuing this, especially on to chapter 3. So if you guys are enjoying, please be sure to leave those likes, comment, subscribe, comment, 50 today, and I will see you guys next episode. Peace.